back in the game, first light Flinders Ranges. The lights behind you guys, those hills in the distance are gonna glow. Just got a little board this time, little canvas, and of course a massive pallet. Let's get into it. All right, I'll just grab. A couple of trusty knives. Can hardly reach the blinking board, but oh well. Hang on, hang on. Just get that. Like so, so he's a little straighter, we can see what we're doing, that's better. Lower this side a little bit, there we go. Right, now, just gonna block in some dark bits, all right. A little bit of red, a bit of green. Just gonna put the darkest tones in first. Almost nice and dark right there. Just feeling it out, just put it where you feel like you need to. I'll just stand out of the way so we can see what's going on. A few darker tones now. I'll just get some of my trusty old paper towel, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, put some mid tones in again. Yellow ochres, burnt siennas. Might put a bit of magenta in that to knock it back a bit. Just get it all covered. Those crows sound fantastic, I love the sound of that. So we've got a bit of that going on now. A bit of magenta, some white. I know it's hard to see from what's going on over there. But we'll see what we can do. The noises that you hear in the distance at this time of day is fantastic. Just putting those distant hills in shadow first, because obviously it's shadow right now. Get all that shadow in. Quickly put the sky in, right. Some white. Might go for some blue. More blue and white. Not quite touching yet, not quite touching. Right, quickly change tack and go for some magenta. Some white. How's this, eh? Painting a picture this size with a crazy big palette, that's just mental. Oh, this is bad for your back too, it's too low. Oh well, here we go. Oops, let's just get that magenta a little bit more mixed, like so. Whip it in there. 
to sort of bring it together with that blue. So I'm anticipating at the moment that sky will be like that in a minute. As the bands come through, as the sun comes up behind you guys. So a bit of burnt sienna, some white. Move that palette knife out of the way. I haven't got a little white here. Wouldn't it be funny if I ran out of white before I finished? Oh yeah, that'd be hilarious. Okay. Got this yellow ochre from yesterday morning's one. I mean, yesterday evening I painted that picture. There's a little bit left on the palette here pre-mixed. <laughs> well, that comes in handy. Also a bit of the sky blue that I need at the top. Just get those mixed. Just trying to get the coverage at the moment. Now a bit of blending. Wipe it clean. Just grab a fresh piece of towel. Keep the knife nice and clean with the fresh towel. some clean wipes and pulling through like so. Bit of finger painting, yeah that's good. Now I just want to get this blue again down low and start drawing the actual draftsmanship of where those hills are going to be. Bring it down to match where I want it. Something along those lines, yeah that's it, look at that. Done a little bit too much so I can get to the edge of the knife. Take that sky off, get a nice clean edge of those mountain ranges. I get the super duper big knife for the blending. I'll just pull up like so. It'll help spear all those colours together nicely. up here. Bit of magenta. Okay. It's all about blending at the moment. Stand back and have a look, eh? Right, so those bounds will come through. <clears throat> Sorry, it's amazing at the moment. It looks like full sunlight where you're seeing, but it's actually quite, everything's keyed down. It's real twilight at the moment. It's funny how the camera picks it up differently. All right, some a few greens here and there. Pull it off. Just lightly pulling through with the pellet knife. 
over the top, putting that green foliage over. Just waiting for that sun to kick over the hill, which it'll do very soon. There's a beautiful mist out there, it's my campfire. This air is so still. There's this great mist running through. Righty, and here I can see, while I'm waiting, I can see some nice subtle mauves and stuff in here. Just lightly pulling through, a bit here and there where the creek is. This way, you can see that band coming on the hill now like I've painted, I was anticipating it. Just uh, clean up a few edges here with the old finger. Look at that. Very clean knife. Now I'm just going to go for a slightly smaller square knife. Big one's great, but it might get a little bit too big for some of the uh, light and shadow that's about to hit on that hill. Waiting, that sun's going to come and it'll be game on. Turn on the sun, light up the world. Just going to mix a bit of white magenta over here as a bit of a premix to get me started. And also mix up a nice strong yellow and red to make a beautiful orange. A twang more red. See these colours starting to pull down closer to the horizon, so I'm bringing them down a bit. Beautiful magentas. Nice yellow oak is up here. Just fine tune as the actual lighting comes, you see. Oh, she's going to come all right. She's going to come. A bit more of the magenta. Yeah. Bit of the burnt sienna browns about this height. It's all coming together.
smearing that foreground out of focus. Right, let's get that light going, let's get that light. It's about to come any second. <clears throat> A few pale blue greens coming onto the hills just before the sun rises like it normally does. You get the complementary colours start to hit. It's taking so long to come. When's it going to come? Wipe it clean. Just, <clears throat> sorry, just putting a bit of those subtle colours, just smoothing them off a bit now. I can see them all coming down to the hill to meet. Pull them down to the hill. Let's see where they go. Look at that. Nice soft blend in the sky. Now come on, sun. Hurry up and come up. I can't believe you're taking so long. All right, she's starting to light up a bit of a magenta, I can see. It's a bit of a hazy sunrise again, not one of those real strong outback startling bang. All right, I can see it starting. Just see what time we got here. A bit dark, a bit more magenta in the mix. Lightly touch. Well, we skip across the top as the sun comes. Just has lick it on on top lightly, otherwise you'll blend those cool colours with the warm and send it grey. I'm just licking those colours over the top and you don't want to play with it too much. You see those beautiful magentas coming in now.
and you get the real cool greens <clears throat> as a complementary colour in the shadow, it goes really cool green. Just mixing up a bit of a shadow here when we got the light, it's finally here. Knocking up some of those pale greens. They're starting to appear. Let's come back. Right, let's have a look. You can see I've licked those colours just as the magentas are all licking the top of the hills and the pale greens in the shadows. It's all pretty much how it is now. I've anticipated it fairly correctly. It's almost like I've seen it before. <laughs> There's no point getting too carried away now. I've got the basic thing happening. It's going to quickly keep on changing by the second now and all I'll do is be chasing the change rather than actually creating something of interest. Taking a little bit of paint off which is coming back to the dark. Making those foreground shadows darker again because they're underneath. You pretty much got it then. Just pull some of those darks to make the foreground come forward again. So you've got that lovely floating distance just hovering away. Beautiful. Alright, that'll do. Like I said, you can see she's lit up beautifully now so I'll just get the camera off and we'll have a look up close. <laughs> 